bodybuilderinthailand.com. All right, discussing the Jason Blaha uh, steroid study uh, that he always cites, 600 milligrams of testosterone per week for 12 to 16 weeks. And there's been uh, studies done on this on lifters, right, who have taken this uh, without training and then been compared their gains to people who weren't training and taking the same thing. And um, the people who weren't training gained more muscle um, using the testosterone 600 milligrams per week than the people who were training uh, naturally. And then also um, they gave the testosterone to lifters uh, who were natural and then told them to stop lifting and through that same cycle uh, they were they gained muscle mass okay so I'm gonna put some clarity on this and uh, interpret it the correct way because what Blaha is doing is uh, I understand why he's phrasing it the way he is and he's, he's trying to make a point right about that you know these are powerful drugs and that uh, they work and that uh, supplements don't work okay <laughs> But uh, he's, he's, uh, he's going over it and exaggerating it uh, in order to prove his point. So the first thing I, I want to say um, is that, yeah, you know, if you put someone on an increased level of testosterone, you know, 600 milligrams per week is, you know, roughly three to four times a normal person's testosterone. So now you've got the testosterone of four men inside your body and uh, you don't train, yeah, you're going to change because, uh, you know, you have more hormonal support for muscle tissue um, you know somebody who has four times as much uh, testosterone in them as someone who does not do you really not expect them to have more muscle of course they're gonna have more muscle they have the raw materials for building it okay and then another thing um, was the the lifters the guys who, who were lifters and then they stopped training and uh, you know then they took the cycle, the testosterone cycle, 600 milligrams, and they gained muscle. Okay, well look at the, the guys who are, uh, you know, your average lifters in the gym. Because these were just normal, like, young guys they took from the gym uh, who were natural lifters. And honestly, if you go to any gym uh, and look inside, you know, the average guy who's been going there three to four times a week, five times a week, whatever, uh, for, you know, even a couple years. Uh, they don't look like they lift. <laughs> That's the unfortunate truth of natural bodybuilding. And so, um, yeah, you know, you put these guys that don't look like they lift. You know, they have been lifting, but, you know, most, most naturals don't look like they lift. Or, you know, somebody has to ask them, do you go to the gym? And you put them on steroids. And uh, yeah, they gain muscle. Now let's contrast that to a guy like me. Um, you know, I've been using uh, testosterone and androgens, you know, for several years. And uh, now let's say you put a guy like me uh, on that 600 milligram per week of testosterone and tell me to stop training. Um, you know, I'm sure not gaining any muscle. I'll tell you that 100%. And, you know, I might even lose some. You know, I probably wouldn't uh, as, long as, as long as I wasn't eating a calorie restriction. I probably wouldn't lose any muscle, but I definitely wouldn't be gaining any. And uh, that's kind of like there's a threshold, guys. Uh, and that's, that's what Blaha is not. Uh, he's not making that really clear when he talks about this study. And it's a good thing that he talks about this study. It's just not making it clear that there's a threshold. And the, the threshold is that when you have little to no muscle mass, or you're a natural bodybuilder, which means you have a little muscle mass, right? Um, or you may have some muscle mass, but it's really just not that dense. And, and it's just, have you seen natural bodybuilders who cut? They don't look any different than swimmers, all right? They just look like swimmers on stage. So uh, you take these guys and uh, you know you tell them to stop training and you put them on steroids and, and yeah, they gain, they gain muscle. But I would say also for myself, when I first started using it, um, you know, I would have also gained uh, muscle without doing any workouts. 
Um, but that, that quickly comes to an end. You know, I, I would actually say that, you know, that cycle that they did, 16, 20 weeks, is a pretty good predictor of a first time uh, user not being able to make any more gains after that period of time. Because really that first four to five months when you first go on um, anabolic steroids, where they really do work like that, they, you're, you know, you've changed the environment of your body and now your body adapts, um, you know, to having an in increase of androgens in it and, and, you know, that causes a change in the quantity of muscle mass that you have. But after that 16 to 20 weeks, that adaptation is pretty much done. And uh, from that point on, I mean, yeah, you could raise the dosage a little bit and probably squeeze a little bit more out. But everybody who is, um, you know, a bodybuilder who's experienced with uh, using anabolic steroids knows that we don't just take them and, and gain muscle because we'd all be really, really huge if it was like that. Um, and so the, the fact of the matter is, is that that threshold of how much gains you can get without training really bottoms out after 16 to 20 weeks. And, um, or for any user, you know, who's experienced with using them and has a significant like bulk of muscle mass. Once you get that bulk look where you have a, a, a bulky muscle, you're not gonna get any of these like free gains without training, that's over. You know, if, if Blaha, what a real great study would be that would shed more light on this would be, you know, guys who have been using steroids for the last 10 years, you know, a decade straight. And now you put them on 600 milligrams per week and tell them to stop training and see what happens. They're not gaining muscle. They're not gaining any muscle. So, I mean, steroids are very powerful for a natural body. And you put a, you put a natural body and change it to steroids, it's a, it's a difference, okay? Um, but you're not, you're not gonna be gaining uh, muscle indefinitely like that. And also, it's, it's not like uh, incrementally increasing the dosages um, is going to you know, incrementally make you better, or else Boston Lloyd would be Mr. Olympia. All right, this is Dan. I'm a bodybuilder in Thailand from bodybuilderinthailand.com.